Hey guys, before we get to the fishing, I want to give you an insane update about the giveaway that started last week and will end this Thursday at 5 o'clock. I have a buddy who watched my video. His Instagram handle is at WarpathFlies and he messaged me and he's like, hey Joe, let's make this giveaway like really, really good. And so he volunteered to tie and donate 104 flies to my giveaway. So not only will you be getting the hoodie if you win the giveaway, but you'll also be getting 104 flies. So let me tell you what you'll be getting. Four dry flies. You'll be getting two chubbies, two hippies, two stimulators, two X caddis, and two L care caddis, as well as two atoms and two comparadons. For nymphs, you'll be getting five rainbow warriors, five Frenchies, five thread Frenchies, five flashback pheasant tails, five copper johns, and five graphic caddises. For midges, you'll get five zebras, five Manhattans, five blings, five jujus five thread bodies, and five WD-40s. And lastly, for mergers, you'll be getting five mole midges, five foam mergers, five RS-2s, five Morgans, five sparkles, and five bubble backs. So I want to say thank you to my buddy Matt at Warpath Flies for tying up these bugs and donating them to this giveaway. If you're not aware of the giveaway, check out the previous video. I'll put a link here and I'll put a link down below. I'll also uh, put in the description all the flies that you'll be winning and a Wanderer Joe's fly fishing hoodie. So like I said, go to the previous video, watch the video, it'll tell you exactly how you enter this giveaway. Uh, it tells you how you can get extra entries if you'd like to, uh, but you have to enter it first uh, before you get the extra entries. So make sure you do that and then uh, I'll be closing it on Thursday the 29th at 5 o'clock and then I'll be doing the giveaway itself in the video the day after. So guys, let's get back to what you're probably here for and let's get to the fishing. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing. Today, uh, since it's been raining here in Virginia for like the past five days, I decided to go up into the mountains and fish a creek and use the same stuff, a squirmy wormy and a salmon egg to see how well it did. And I am again shocked. So uh, if I hooked one and lost it, it counts for half a point. If I hooked one and got it to the net, it counts for a full point. Some of them, uh, I couldn't hold on to them and they were popping out my net because I didn't expect them to be that big, but you can still see uh, what they ate and uh, get a decent picture of them. So anyway, guys, Let's continue the battle and see how it went. Got one. Got one. This guy looks like he's stuck. Ooh. He is. He's a stock guy. Salmon egg one. Squirmy wormy. Zero. Let's let him go. Bye, dude. Got another. Here. <laughs> Man, you guys just don't 
like squirmy wormies or something. This guy is wild. Totally wild. Come on, guy. Let's let him go. Got one. That's all she wrote. Got one. Oh, finally. Going on the squirmy wormy. All right. Oh, you're going to. Oh. Got another one. <laughs> Where is my net? Man, maybe I should have brought a bigger net. On the salmon egg again. Man. So guys, that's the tally. You know? So, uh, five and a half, salmon egg, half a point, squirmy worm. I have no idea what's going on with the squirmy worm. No idea whatsoever. It should be working way better than it is. Who knows? Anyway, so, Thanks to everyone who's been subscribing and tuning in and uh, watching my video and all that kind of fun stuff. I really, really, really appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to uh, one of my subscribers, Jimmy. Uh, he gave me some nymphs that are winter oriented patterns for trout. So the next time I go on the river, hopefully the water levels will be lower so I can use some of those nymphs. And so what I'll do is I'll catalog what trout I caught on what nymph. Um, so you guys get a feel for what winter nymph patterns are working. And that way you can buy some or tie up your own or, you know, whatever, because I want you to have a good winter of catching trout and fly fishing too. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Again, thank you, Jimmy, for the flies. I'm so grateful uh, and I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to like, comment, Share and subscribe so you can tune in to the next episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing. As always, take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.